Hey guys, we got an awesome install plan for you this evening. We are going to be throwing an RTX 3070 in this bad mamma jam of a PC. This Acer is going to receive this Zotec and he's going to absolutely love it. Some things you're going to need, which I will have linked down in the description down below. You're going to need a 6 to 6 plus 2 pin, which makes two 8 pin adapters. You're also going to need a uh, number 2 Phillips, which is this iFixit kit, which does a freaking awesome job. I'll have all this stuff linked down in the description down below. We are also going to compare these two cards with benchmarks to see your before and after and how good of an FPS gain you would see with throwing an RTX 3070 in there. Yes, the 500 watt power supply is enough to support this card. Other than that, guys, we're going to get this install and upgrade started, but a, one few things you want to do, power your system down, get everything unplugged, and get the side panel off, and that's where we're going to start. First thing we're going to do is if the graphics card is plugged in, which it is not, so we don't have to undo the power cable. You do want to do that while the graphics card is still secure. We do have two number two Phillips right here. We're going to take these and just let them drop to the table or catch them. There we go, they are out of the way. And this thing swings like a door, it's pretty neat. Go ahead and reach in and grab your graphics card. Try not to grab the fan, you don't want to break this guy. Could give it to a best friend or something like that. Make sure the clasp, the last clasp does not come back on the card like it just did right there. If sometimes you're pulling and the card does like that, you want to stop, push it back down, clasp it back, back in. If this gets stuck on the other side, it's going to be a nightmare to get it out. Anyways guys, that's that out, and we're going to go ahead and put our Zotec RTX 3070 in here. Get it lined up, and send her on home. Close your door, and I put the screws back in before we put the power cable in, because you're going to be like shoving stuff into the card, and this just helps secure it to the deck. It helps it secure to the case. And there we go. And now we got to grab our power cable out. So we have a six pin and an eight pin. We're going to take our eight pin right here and we're just going to put our adapter cable on there. And it just makes this install so much simpler because there's only an eight pin and a six pin. And anybody that wants to tell me that this won't handle this card, I've ran huge mining setups with chinchier stuff than this with like RTX 3090s. And I sat there days, kept checking it with temperature sensors. This cable is not going to start on fire and it will handle this. So if you want to comment like, that's not rated for that, I mean, you can. It's not going to change me from doing it or anybody that's watching me and doing it. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, it works. All right, so go ahead and tuck your cable in. You guys want to kind of want to get this tucked in here where the airflow is not going to bug it. I'm not going to put the side panel back on, but of course, go ahead and put your side panel back on. I will show you that it fits just so for uh, completion's sake, if I know where the heck I put it around here. It's a big black piece of metal and I lost it. Guys, I'd lose my brain if it wasn't attached to my head. As you can see, it fits on there perfectly. But anyways, we're gonna get this thing booted up and get a benchmark rock and rolling for you guys to show you comparison. All right guys, we just got done doing our awesome benchmark and this thing was rocking it, knocked it out of the park. And I really do think the RTX 3070 is a good fit for the Acer Nitro 50. Anyways guys, we're gonna go over some benchmark results, so jump over to on screen with me. On the left here you see the GTX 1650 and on the right here you see the RTX 3070. Our first score with the GTX 1650 was 3,596 and our RTX 3070 was 11,409. That's a huge difference. Of course, we're going to come down here to the first graphics test, and that's going to be 21.46, uh, and that's versus the second gra or first graphics test on the RTX 3070, which is 83.17, and our second graphics test was 19.12, and on our RTX 3070, 69.12. That's an almost like, that's a huge frame increase. You're talking about like 49 frames per second. 50 frames per second, I mean, that's a big frame increase. If you want to game the crap out of this thing and have some fun gaming, like, this is where it's at, right here. All right, guys, I'm going to actually pull up the actual benchmark. You're going to notice that the score's a little bit different. I goofied it, and I took screenshots of this so I could compare them side by side, and I had to rerun the benchmark. So you'll see the scores sometimes vary. It's up and down. So, of course, this is actually a lesser score, but we're going to go and we're going to do some FPS comparison. So, starting off right out of the gate, we got Battlefield 5, and that's 1440p Ultra. It was 115 frames plus. And Apex Legends, 130 plus. GTA 5, 70 plus. Fortnite, 95 plus. And Red Dead Redemption, which is GPU killer, 45 plus. 
So guys, I'm gonna have to give this two thumbs up of approval. If you are looking to do a GPU upgrade and GPUs are cheap right now, get yourself an RTX 3070. Uh, yes, the 500 watt power supply will support it. And other than that, guys, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm TechNet when I'm out, y'all.